How wetlands are protected in new developments. Development completed before the 1980s typically did not have adequate wetland protection or address stormwater concerns. Today, these protections come in the form of wet ponds and occasionally grassed areas. You might wonder why newer developments have stormwater ponds with control structures. That's because in 1985, the state of Florida placed regulations on stormwater requiring these protective measures. Stormwater ponds collect and manage stormwater runoff by providing water quality treatment and restricting the water flow before it enters our creeks, rivers, wetlands, and the Gulf of Mexico. In undeveloped areas, stormwater runoff is filtered via overland flow through vegetation and wetlands prior to flowing into our water bodies. A wetland buffer is an upland area adjacent to wetlands consisting of existing vegetation and or planted native species, which is to remain undisturbed. When engineered stormwater treatment systems are integrated into development plans, they effectively filter and treat runoff closer to its source before it enters a wetland or stream. The stormwater system provides water quality treatment in addition to that provided by the wetland. The purpose of state-required wetland buffers in residential, commercial, or industrial projects is to provide a visual and physical separation between development and wetlands. Protected wetlands and wetland buffers are often identified by signs, which serve as a reminder for people to stay out of these areas, effectively reducing pollution and habitat disturbance. You can often find signs in our county parks that include information about the ecological significance of wetlands, their role in flood control, and the species they support. For more information on how you can help protect wetlands in your neighborhood, go to mymanatee.org wetlands.